Hi Hexagon and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today we're going to discuss creating GD&T checks. First, navigate to Instrument. I'm going to add an instrument, selecting the drop-down, and I'm going to select the Absolute Arm 7 Access. Now I'm going to go to CAD, import a CAD model, and inside the File Explorer I'm going to navigate to the new hex block large. I can verify the CAD model is correct. I can double left click, open the properties, and I can even change the color of my CAD model if I wanted to change it before moving into the inspection. Next, I'm going to go to the Features tab and select Extract from CAD. I'm going to make sure that I have Extract Geometric Features from CAD, and then left clicked on the features on my part. If I need to create two planes, I can just simply select both planes, press enter, and it will automatically create one planar surface. Now I'm going to switch to a general surface and select the peanut shape. Press enter to accept and press enter to complete. Now I'm going to go to my alignment tab. I'm going to select create relationship and choose my plane, cylinder, and my plane two. Press enter when I'm done. And now we're going to open the properties for each feature and add the datum. So for plane one, I'm going to add datum A. For cylinder one, I'm going to add datum D. And then for plane two, I'm going to add datum B. Next, I'm going to open the criteria panel for my surface one, select add gd &T, switch my check type over to surface profile, enter my tolerance of 0.4, and select it to the primary of datum A, secondary of datum D, and tertiary of datum B, and select Add. Once this is confirmed, I'm now going to connect to the instrument. And after I have connected to the instrument, I have the ability to just left click and drag the feature into the main graphical view. This becomes the active measurement target and I can now start acquiring points on my plane one. The feature on the CAD model will stay selected and highlighted until you have swiped right to go to the next feature in the actions playlist. Now I'm on my cylinder one and you can see that we start to see the part trying to align. Once I complete the inspection for plane two this will complete my relationship alignment because I have all of the features necessary for that to be completed. Now I'm just going to press and hold the measure button on my instrument to take multiple data points on the surface. Next, I'm going to go to features, drop down to the point feature, and select create surface point comparison. This will give me the ability to move my probe around different locations on my part and give a live deviation from my CAD model to the area of inspection. So I'm going to do a little bit on the top plane, a little bit on the opposite plane where plane two is located. And we can see this data is automatically showing the deviations as I go. Once I'm complete, I swipe right. I'm going to place the arm back in the home position. And now I'm going to open the comparison properties by just double left clicking on it in the tree. Inside here, I can change the use components so I can focus on the X, Y, or Z values. Or I can ignore edge projections, and I also have the ability to change the vector size of the points in the main graphical view. If you select nothing for the use components, it will show no deviations in the comparison. Now I can measure more features on the part, or I can create a callout for my surface one. First, navigate to the tree and double left click on surface one. 
This will open the properties of the feature. And then you can click on where it says show callout. This will create a callout in the main graphical view based off the information and criteria. Right click, select properties, and you have the ability to show actual tolerance or change the expansion state. Thank you for watching and we hope you were inspired.